just like there. Yeah. 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 And that's what he said. Mm -hmm. Nobody just yeah. saw that yeah. he was there in the yeah. 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 You should have told me that. Okay, so I said, if I have you, my husband. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, first. Yeah. Oh, we also have our mini so so Recording. Yeah. Uh, Mary, can you keep an eye on Kristen for the I can see you are so nice. Oh, how is it? I guess I'm complaining. It's after the fact. Let's see I get it, Nick, but there's some material. You need to be very diligent. You know, it's just like it's a nice tool out. And I, I don't know what I do if it looks like I said in the summer, at least, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have plenty of things. It's not a lot of and she open. We are being recorded a couple times. All right. So first off, we got meeting minutes from the eight. I'm not seeing them. Are you seeing them? Fantastic. Motion to table until next week. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Brown there yet? No. All right. Um, audience participation. I don't have anything on for Hilltown, so if you guys want to come up now, um, feel free. Aye. I brought half three quarters of the board. Yeah, so. find, find a seat. There's spots. We asked for information, so I brought all the information. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as over right? That's what I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't be taking Joanne's wallet. That's what I'm Joanne's wallet. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome for joining us. Joanne, we've got to throw them out for you. <laughs> no, all is protection. So, um, John, we voted you last week and signed everything. So you're all set. All right, he'll count, right? Or I just need a letter to, so I can email it to them. Okay. Or they Let have a digital. Did we sign that last week, Joanne? The letter for John, you know. No more space in my head. For There's no more space in your head. That's okay. Um, let me take a look at what we have here. I'm happy to do whatever you tell me to do. <laughs> we signed a whole down. bunch of them last week. I know I did um, paperwork to put the paperwork, but yep. did we do a letter? I, don't know. I think we did because we signed every, we signed like 20 of these last week. Couldn't have been. I, I wouldn't have just put it in the basket or whatever. I would have gone back to you and said, Well, where am I sending this? Who uses this? Okay. Point? So I don't think there is a real letter done. Okay. I did the appointment. Okay. Can we just use the appointment? Do you want me to just yes. put something on a Just a letter? this. Yeah, that's cool. Just that works. works. I can do that. The yeah. appointment letter works fine. You just send that over to us. Okay. And... Perfect. All right. Um, John, remind me what. Information we were asking regarding. We wanted to know why the budget was an increase and where the money was going, is what we were asking to find out. I, I asked you? The board. The board. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to remember because I don't remember. TJ. It. it must have been TJ. Blame yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old guy. Yeah. They usually blame the short guy, apparently. <laughs> Do you guys want to go ahead and speak to that? Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I'm a List that Jane handed out with the yep. color coordinated graph here. This first part's just a breakdown of calls that we've done. Mm -hmm. uh, on the back side for the financial stuff, that's going to be where we want to focus the most at. Okay. And really on the bottom part here, this annual operating cost, as you can see here for the total annual operating cost for us, it was 829284 with 94 cents. Yep. So obviously okay. with the yeah. amount of money that we get from each town as a contribution, covering those okay. towns, HCAA is... We're getting a net loss year over year, which is leading to a net loss in everything. Mm -hmm. And really, the reality is 
for us, we're in an aging agency with equipment building, and right now personnel is extremely difficult to come by, and the hiring field is incredibly competitive. In the last little bit, we've had two full-time employees leave for better paid positions at other places, and we have no way of stopping them or even be competitive. And a lot of that's coming down to the amount of money that we're seeing move out the door. We're really... Our main source of income is that patient billing. And if we were to answer a 911 call and plan for today, even if the patient paid today, we're not seeing that revenue source for two, three, sometimes four months. So there's a very big lag time from when we're getting money to when we're actually having a new account and being able to use it. Um, we're trying to be more competitive. We've also seen an uptick in some costs. So you know, last year we provided a $1 raise, which is still very far below the average of EMS that we're seeing in Western Massachusetts. We've just now started offering health insurance to try to be a little bit more competitive. There's still no 401k or retirement plan associated. Mm -hmm. So the effort of raising the per capita rate up to 50-20, the effort is really to be sustainable here so that for the long term, we can stay here and we can continue to serve the community. Um, I do think. Sorry, yeah, just to put a little bit in perspective, I believe we're from the towns with their last increase over the past fiscal year, we're from about 35% for our total annual expenses. The remaining does come from patient billing and donations. Um, and yeah, I was going to say, so what a big issue that we see like uh, in the last few years when we had the older red ambulance before we were able to replace it is sometimes we're looking at repair costs that are three, four thousand dollars. And we are now deciding at that point, we were deciding, do we pay payroll this week to make sure people get paid? Or do we make sure that the ambulance is running? Yeah. And these are the reality. When we look at other, uh, other agencies, so like Highland's a good example with the six communities, same sort of format. Right now, they're around $65 per capita. They're in a much better situation. So we're just trying to get in the ballpark of stability. Mm -hmm. By no means are we going to sit here and we use this money. All this money is almost definitely going to go towards payroll. And that's not even to get raises or anything. That's just to kind of make sure that every month we're meeting the bottom line that we have to. Because right now, that isn't always the case that we're seeing. So for FY24, Blanford's total annual contribution of $42,768. Yeah, that's about four weeks worth of payroll. Okay. And you're, you're saying that it was a over a $7,000 loss yearly for the town of Blanford. Uh, correct. So, like these numbers, they're based off of the total number of calls. So, you actually have a price per call. Okay. Um, with the current increase of the past fiscal year, we're actually able to lower the price per call. It used to be somewhere around one thousand thirteen. We were right. able to lower that down to about nine uh, hundred and forty-seven dollars. Mm -hmm. That is also because of uh, daily staffing too. So, having paramedics at one hundred percent since the beginning of the year mm -hmm. was able to lower the cost from using intercepts from outside agencies. So you're staffing paramedics every day, 365, 24-7 for almost, I want to say, at least so since 10, 10, 10, 11 months now. Yeah, it's been extremely challenging for us because not to pick on any agencies, but again, so Highland has that higher per capita cost and they're still not able to provide 24-hour paramedic coverage. Mm -hmm. We're right now literally half of what they're making and we still provide 24-hour uh, paramedic service along with the community standbys and mm -hmm. things of that nature. And as we can to uh as me and Bailey are in the office eight to four, we will staff the second ambulance of the second call that's come in mm -hmm. as, as available. And then just to kind of hammer that paramedic point home too. So last year when we have intercepting ambulances, so ambulances that are staffed at the paramedic level coming from other towns, whether that's Aguam, Westfield, North Hampton, they charge us a fee of anywhere from three to five hundred dollars. And some departments actually charge the fee. For us to cancel them so what will happen is north Hampton control sends them out mm -hmm. we find yeah. out that call is not maybe needed at the paramedic level and we were still getting charged for that so last year we were able to eliminate almost 24 or 25 thousand dollars in budget from you now staffing mm -hmm. paramedics 24 7 instead of paying that money out of pocket to other agencies okay do you get any reimbursement from insurance companies absolutely so that's what the big portion of our funds are coming from, but unfortunately it's all separate. So a place like Medicare is going to maybe give us, all right, you get $3 per mile and you get a base rate of $150 and maybe that's $400 and that's it. We could send them a bill for $10,000. Medicare says $400, we're fair and square, and then the rest gets voided. Okay. 
right now too, we are having a little bit of a problem with Medicare and Medicaid with all the hill towns. They actually have us all labeled as urban rates and not rural rates, including middle mm -hmm. deals and all the other areas. But being a state and federal programs is kind of hard to get that fixed. But I am working on that for sure. So, <laughs> what were some of the next steps? I know you guys did this um, plan with um, PVPC. What were some of the next steps? Did you get to that? Yes, sir. I think the no, I was gonna say I think the big steps for us is right now that sustainability. Mm -hmm. The real goal for us right now is getting to that 50-20 because without that, it's very difficult to envision a long-term sustainable hotel ambulance. And then immediately after that, it's addressing the staffing problems that mm -hmm. we have. And when I say staffing problems, we're short right now, like one paramedic or two, and that may sound like not a whole heck of a lot. But sure. it, it is, it, it is, and when we're doing 24-hour shifts and then you have to have our other yeah. people be overtime, then becomes very strenuous on our budget as well. But, you know, like working with John, John's been familiar, he's worked at Northampton, you know, Northampton, a world-class department is having a difficult time getting people to come in, you know, and not that we're necessarily a horrible department, but much smaller. And yeah. if these bigger guys are having issues, we're definitely going to have those same issues as well. I think that biggest next step is actually we're doing a five-year plan out okay. now, so we'll know. Uh, so I'm the rep. For, my name is John Gary. I'm the rep for the town of Huntington. Mm -hmm. uh, my background is I was the division chief of VMS for the state of Northampton. I retired out of that position, but so I they asked me to, to join on. Huntington asked me to take over uh, the spot here, so I did that. Um, these guys have been fantastic. They, they do so much with so little. I, I'm dumbfounded. I really am because I had a pretty decent budget and. Uh, what I see these guys doing is amazing. But the biggest thing is I know my own town asked for instead of year to year, they want to see you know what's this going to cost over yeah. the next five years. So currently our next biggest step is that forecast we're doing right now. Uh and then as we do that forecast, that's when the brainstorming is going to say, okay, what are some of the other routes that we can take to try to, you know, we honestly we hate having to come to the towns and ask for more money. I mean, you know, everybody feels terrible about having to do it. But on the other hand is I also want an ambulance to show up at my Town Huntington. Now, Huntington does pay the highest amount of everybody. We're about 105,000 and change this year. Um, so that's what's going forward on our warrant. So hopefully it goes through. We have our meeting on the third. So what happens? So this is regional, like the schools. What happens if one town? We don't have that set up like the schools, but we're not a re no. Okay. So a town can can turn it down. Okay. They will not be part of the organization anymore. But here's what happens is. Uh, back in 99, uh, if anybody wants to look it up, there's a, it was called EMS 2000 came out, which was a mandate that required all cities and communities to have an EMS plan in place. So um, under EMS 2000, you're covered because you're using Hilltown. If you didn't use Hilltown, you'd have to figure out, uh, you'd, you'd do the 90 day notice. You'd have 90 days to try to find another ambulance provider that's going to come in here. Uh, and I'd be honest, I, I ran an ambulance service, I ran a big ambulance service. And uh, the, the, we did 5,000 calls a year. You're not going to find a way to do it at this price. I mean, so if they voted down, they'd still have to have an ambulance. They still have the ambulance. It's just not going to so be. So, what if they down. like change the amount on the floor and reduce the cost? It's, you're going to, when it runs out of money, you're, you might have a few months of it. But uh, I, guess. I mean, okay. these are things we have to talk how to. It would affect Blanford, but so you're saying it wouldn't affect us. If we vote, if we pass it, we're. Well, we haven't discussed any of the things. Honestly, we're, we're pretty, pretty optimistic here. We're hoping everybody passes it. Mm -hmm. It does sound very favorable throughout mm -hmm. the other communities. I know it went through finance down in Russell. Uh, they had no problem. Uh, Worthington, um, it looks good up there. Yep, they already, I think they already voted it on yep, it. Right? They voted it. Worthington on it. Um, Huntington, it is on the full warrant for the full amount. Okay. Um, I'm not, I mean, there might be some questions, but in the end, I think it's going to go through. We went through no problem last year and it was a pretty big increase last year, too. So I'm hoping this year we'll yeah. have the same thing. Uh, the thing is, um, these communities also you understand is all the mutual aid agreements from Westfield coming out here and Northampton coming out here, they're with Hilltown. They're not with the individual towns. Yeah. So it, it, the towns are going to have to scramble at that point if they decide not to go on. I mean, so it may be something where down the road they decide, all right, we need to plan out something five years from now, whatever. Again, you, I work private EMS for years. I've been doing this for 36 years now. I work private EMS. I work for municipality for the last 22 years. Um, and so, I, and I went to school. I went to the school for the college. Actually, have my degree and all this stuff. So, I know what an ambulance costs. Uh, a paramedic ambulance right now, 24/7, is costing a million to a year to run. They're doing a lot less than that. And so, they're they're pretty fantastic. So, uh, I feel we're getting a, a hell of a deal. And then the other thing is, too, you can't beat the customer service you're getting with people that are invested in your community. Yeah. You know, it's like the local fire departments. They're your neighbors. They're going to see you in town. You know, 
and you have a lot of local people here in the sandwich, so you have that. I mean, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're, you're, I run into people all the time that I know when I spend fire department hunting in there, and they also near your neighbors, you know. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Do you um, foresee a large jump again next year, or do you think it will stay pretty steady? We're hoping not to have to do a large jump. That's why we did one this year. There will be another increase. It's not going to be two and a half percent. Everybody, so here's one of the other problems that's happened in the past is the previous directors, and I'm not picking on them because that's the the what they had that they were facing is we only did a two percent increase, right? Because mm -hmm. that's all the towns can can raise is two percent. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, that's what's about it. And if you look at most of your departments, like especially your public safety departments, I mean they're not staying at two and a half percent. They're asking for more than that two and a half percent just to stay, you know, and then if you just look at the, the, the price of fuel right now, it is up 50% things mm -hmm. like that. So it's funny that like we're talking, you get $3 a mile to transport a patient to the hospital, right? <laughs> Think about how much diesel fuel, diesel is like almost $7 a gallon that buys, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So you're seeing an increase more than the two and a half, but not as large of an increase. No, we're playing. We're playing catch up right now. The last two years have been a huge playing catch up. Uh, I can't promise any numbers, so we don't know the numbers going sure. forward. Yeah, we I do. We know where we're at now. We're not, we're actually working on a five year plan. Uh, we did promise the towns we would get to them much earlier than what's on the contract, even so we would have a better understanding. Uh, going into this rather than the kind of last time where everybody gets their budgets and we're trying to put this together. So we are trying to go out much earlier uh, than we have in the past. Okay. Uh, and uh, and we're really, and we're wide open. I, I, and we had that uh, big um, meeting in town Huntington we put together at Stanton Hall. Um, we did you you handed the powerpoints out to everybody right the, uh, yeah, the sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you guys got a lot. I gave the report. So that was we we uh, researched it within our own department, and then we actually had the Pioneer Valley Planning mm -hmm. Commission come in and do even a more in-depth uh, study of it. And uh, so we feel very comfortable. We know where we're at and where we need to be. So, yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you. Do you guys have any more questions? Or... Mm -hmm. Finance, any questions for Hilton? No? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you guys for coming. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you for the information. I just want to thank you guys for putting somebody on the board for us. That's, yeah, that's, that's huge. Like, we're I mean, have, um, yeah, the other guy was fantastic. It, I just know what his work schedule is. It is demanding. Yeah. It's We don't get paid for it. We're there one to two nights a month. And, and then, you know, we do charity events and stuff. So there is, it's a huge commitment by your board member. So yeah. I definitely want to applaud him for coming. Hopefully, we, we don't scare him off. So <laughs> he doesn't scare you. We, we know who your brother is. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you don't know me. That's a good part. Right? <laughs> I didn't go to Gameway. I went to Smith Volk. I, 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 I live in Huntington. I lived my whole life. But yeah, but I keep I keep a low profile. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, but I know where you live. <laughs> All right, I have a highway, but I don't see highway. So we're gonna move on to finance um, report. Oh, yeah. And we have the for crop bills too. Look at all this. All right. Well, what I've done here is just basically Yeah, thank you. Um, is, oh, before you start, is Christopher on? He's, he's there, but I don't know if he's turned on. Okay, thank you. Christopher, and, can you hear? Oh, here, there he is. Hi, Christopher. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> How's everyone doing? There you go. Good. We can hear you now. There you go. Do you really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> well, good to see everyone, regardless. We miss you. I know. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Wish you were here. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to display it up there, or are you OK? I don't know you? how to. Know if how you, you join the Zoom, you can share it. Otherwise, I don't really know how to share it because it would have, yeah, it'd have to be okay. via Zoom. Then let's just, let's, let's just, just yeah. yeah. We killed a couple trees here. Okay. Good. Um, I will say, you know, Dave has been very instrumental in helping us. I because, know. Dave, do you want to join us? Up yeah. There? The, uh, you know, aligning this yeah. with the warrants and making sure that all the gaps are filled with all the different, uh, you know, with the stabilization funds and the cash and what's yeah. going on with the work. So it's we sat down just guys. a little while ago and just kind of tweaked it a little bit. So okay. these guys haven't had the privilege of seeing it. Okay. But the stuff that we primarily worked on really hasn't changed. Okay. Which is the expense side of it. 
Okay. Um, the revenue, uh, Chris obviously worked a lot on it. Okay. Um, just a matter of going through it. So All right. You can help me in determining how you want to do it, but let's just start. Okay. Mary, you got a copy? Yeah. yeah. Like to All right. So the first thing is, you know, goals for finance. I changed this. Chris had goals in there for the town. Okay. And, you know, I have to say from looking at last year, <laughs> you guys hit every goal. Nice. This is phenomenal. Thank and you, Chris. Sure that, that was Christopher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I just put in some goals for us and made it more about finance because we can't possibly come up with town goals. We haven't been privileged to sure. conversations. Okay. Right? So keep levy increase within the 3%, complete the budget on time, and balance the budget. Okay. We hit our goals. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the levy limit is $4.2 million recommended. The levy at 3.7 million. Debt is paid from what I'm saying. Nice. Which is great. Operating budget revenue is 4.8 million. Operating expenses are 4.5 million, but the surplus is 323,000. Great. So the the budget is balanced. And the free cash did change the number, by the way. <laughs> you changed one number, they all changed. Yeah. So as you go to the next page, and I don't have these pages numbered, so I'll try to walk you through that way. And you guys, please, please, please jump in when you get to expenses, especially. I don't know how you want to go through this. I mean, this is a synopsis of how we came up with okay. the revenue, the expenditures, and the surplus. The details, obviously, are to come. Okay. I don't but, think we have to go through line by line. I right. Mean, as long as we have the overall. Yep. Um, if there's anything that you're still a question on that you want to talk about, or I don't think so. Okay, Dave. No, and, and I think as Jackie says, we're balanced and we have a lot of lending limit left. So Chris had a question about pilot programs from Springfield, and I plugged a figure and that was closer, so I still got to get that figure from the assessor. Okay, but. Even, even if we didn't have any money from Springfield, it would be okay. So the assessor will know if we've received any funds from Springfield? Or if, or if we actually put out a letter to request payment. Okay, so, so you'll have that from I back. asked okay. him last week if we said you back. Okay. And the other thing that Jackie kind of hinted that was, it will probably be a lower assessment than what we currently have once we figure out where we really are at with like 200,000 drinks of water mm -hmm. things because we do have a large surplus there, so we could probably cut back a little bit about what we're looking to raise appropriate taxes. Okay. Okay. But I think we, you know, I'm going to say, I think we all got lessons learned out of this one this year, which is, you know, we weren't involved hardly at all with the revenue side or a lot of it, a lot of it. Outside of the expenditures. Okay. So I think next year I would want to get more involved for sure on uh, you know all the pieces. Okay. Um, and I'm sure the people helpful. too. We kept asking, but we weren't getting any pieces. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, go to the next page. Opportunities, that's where, you know, really the town, you guys need to think about what are the opportunities that we're gonna go after for okay. this next year. I think it's great to have goals, right? Yeah. That you can share with the town. Challenges, interesting that ambulance services are in here. Yeah. Shared services costs in some cases are going up. Ambulance is one of them, mm -hmm. um, certainly, and IT is another. Okay. So those are the things that we need to really kind of keep an eye on. Okay. Um, and town hall expenses are going up. You know, yeah. there's it's every time you turn around, you're spending money at the town hall. So we, we did increase that budget. Okay. And I know Christopher had said he was putting um, 50000 in the warrant to put into that stabilization for the assessment that we had talked about mm -hmm. for the town building. So that should at least yes. have the same idea. And that's in here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but when we all met together, we instead of taking that 50000 from stabilization and 25000 free cash, yeah. we're just going to take 50000 free cash. And that's what that twenty five thousand back. So the emergency stabilization actually grow more than doing that away. Okay. And because we have enough free cash to do that as well as the transcripts, 
So when yeah. we go to um, spend the money, do we still have to go to a, a mini town meeting? No, it'll be it'll be transferred from free cash into the general budget. Okay, so we but we'll, we'll vote right. on that. Town meeting. Right. Okay, and then yeah. it, we'll be free to seek um, someone to be service. And, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to say, you know, thank you, Chris. The chart that you had put together last year, um, just demonstrating what the percentages are across the budget recommendations. Um, I really didn't feel comfortable with uh, with really using last year's numbers in some cases because I just okay. Yeah. So the spreadsheet is mm -hmm. you know, um, so but I, these are definitely the recommendations. It, it just throws out there where you're spending your money. Mm -hmm. But it, it is good to compare year over year and mm -hmm. see how this pie is shifted. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Any questions there? No. Okay. Um, I did use the 24-25 numbers from that Chris had in the spreadsheet from last year just to demonstrate, you know, how things are going. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see on these charts, it's very visible how things are just a little creeping up in different areas. So the um, the dark is last year? Yes. And the lighter is this year? Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm surprised public safety didn't go up more with the increase in the um, ambulance. No. Okay. Okay. To set the stage for the next pages for me to go through and you know certainly agree to that to user. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the salaries we put a flat 3.2 percent in COVID increase so okay. anywhere that you see a salary you're going to see that um, and the stipends was kept flat okay. so um, if you have any questions on that as okay. we go through. Okay. Now here's where we can go right into expenses if you prefer, or however you want to approach this. These are the uh, tax information. <clears throat> okay. Um, revenue information, which you can see is 3.7 million, um, <clears throat> which is 3% increase over last year. Okay. Okay. State receipts is the next hit. You tell me how quickly you want to You're going on. Yep, right. we'll stop you. Okay. State receipts, um, net state receipts, 272000 Okay. Okay. Then we get into local receipts. Oh, I just, I have a question. Yep. Um, the regional transit, I, there's a huge decrease. Do you know, who do I reach out to to find out why that is? Do you have yeah. that for a that's for con, but remember Margaret had asked us if we could figure out how to use that money towards our own transit. She said that the cherry sheet money was way, way reduced because first yeah. half doesn't exist or something. Like that. Yeah, and was I was looking at and we so last year we were like three thousand something or the year before, and then it went down to eighteen oh, and now it's three hundred and fifty three. So yeah. ooh, she'd like to know as well. I just don't know who I could reach out to to say, well, we have our own transit. Can we still get some funding for that? Any ideas, Christopher, who I would talk on that? Yeah, uh, Margaret had brought this idea up with me in the past. I, I think it's unlikely that that money can be used for a single town's transit oh. system. It really is for regional transit systems. And I, I'm not sure why it got so totally reduced to FERTA might not be providing the same level of service to Blanford anymore. I'm not sure. They're not, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, No. Okay, next page. Local receipts, we're open out. Total of 548, 179. The slant on this writing makes my oh, eyes. I know. <laughs> it's the whole cut page. I'm like, whoa. It's trippy. In fact, if you were to view this online, it, it would take up the whole page, but for some reason it's right here. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then total revenue is 4.8 billion. Okay. Okay. Now, part of that's driven by free cash coming down, mm -hmm. right? And then you've also got, we are uh, transferring money into stabilization funds. So, okay. 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 
Surround yourself. Good story, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about general government. So I've broken this up into three pages, and you guys please jump in. Um, I really, I mean, do you have any comments about like the first section that you want to talk about? No. Anybody have comment on that first page? No, we skip not the, big variances. Skip the audit last year, doing it this year. Mm -hmm. So there's the ice event increase. Okay. Right? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. I mean, that's what I was saying. That we, the record, the rec what was requested most of the time, we recommended. recommended. Okay. Not in every case, though. Right. Pretty, so we're not we're addressing that or not? Okay. Not. I don't have any questions. No? No. General government, page two of three. Mm -hmm. um, any questions there? There was no huge variances. A lot of this is level funded. Mm -hmm. You got the coal increases. There's a there's an increase in the um, Elections and registration, but this year is a election year. They're going to have more. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, more mm -hmm. money they're going to need to spend for that. Okay. So basically, you met all the requests for this as well. Yep. Okay. Right. Is there anything mm -hmm. that you're missing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the agent is up. Is it more than 3.2%? Is it which one thousand to 10? The conservation agent, sorry. Or that's a new line saying? I don't know. That's the way it was in the thing. Okay. Um, no, the site. Oh, no, it was never mind. I see the right. Part. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next page is the last of the general government section. Mm -hmm. um, and no major changes. There is a um, the town hall. Maintenance repairs really is where you're seeing some variance. Yeah. Okay. Plus, in this particular one is where we put the water expense, the water utility expense, and then mm -hmm. don't you mean? town yeah. water bills. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Christopher works on that. You know what's going on there. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think we talked about it last week. Do you think we talked about the thirty-two thousand coming out? Instead of and then their indirect costs being affected by that, mm -hmm. you guys remember. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking the miscellaneous expense. We are already I think over budget on that. Um, every year we're under budget. Well, you can see the yeah the 2024 main year to date expenditures is yeah. the second column. The 12,000. Okay, right. that's where we're at right now. But we're just about to get bills for all the um. The fall cleanup, no spring cleanup of everywhere, and then we'll we're, we will get like three or four mowings, I think. So I'm thinking we we might want to increase, like, increase that to like fifteen. What do you think, Joanne? I know you always manage that one. Yes, every year it's been under under funded. Um, it doesn't change, does it? No, no, totally. No. Because I think because we get so many bills at the end of the year on that, like right in June, yeah. we're going to get a bunch of bills. So it's kind of hard to be in So if you're at all, already over by almost twenty five hundred dollars, and you got a lot of bills coming in, instead of fifteen, you should probably make like it 20. eighteen or twenty. Okay. Because if you don't spend it, we're all in free cash, and we yeah. do have a lot of leeway left. Okay. So what are you going to do? 18 or 20? I vote 20. 20. Yeah. I also have several um, line items that are overspent. Yeah, I can't pay any more bills. And that same thing. I need the attention of 25. I have them all written down. Is that out of the same account? On oh, several accounts, six different accounts. I would be able to fuel. Uh, ATM fire turnout here. I don't know why that's been okay. bounced because that was approved at our uh, annual town meeting. Treasurer, collector, professional service overspent, new town hall expense overspent, and utilities overspent. So, how, how treasurer collector would just be like a 
Probably because of the whole thing with Sarah. And oh, yeah, that's why. Sarah's gets paid more than. Okay. Because we were we had we hired someone to go in there, and then it didn't work, and we ended up back with Sarah. So we had budgeted to not have Sarah, and ended up. Sarah's Do you know what the total is by chance, really? Then you should be both of them is. And yeah. you're no what is overspent? Yeah. No, I didn't write it down. But okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Interesting. Okay. 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 Um the fuel, the town hall fuel, the index, this this whole piece was the former TA putting this together. So okay. Um, but we need to do FRCOG for the per pot. Per yeah. Time. I don't know if we have that. It's when that opens today, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. so we should have that shortly and we fix those numbers to okay. reflect the actual. But we have to actually bid. How does that work, Christopher? The FERCOG oil? Yeah, sure. So Dave and Hoppy earlier in the spring take the number of gallons that they estimate they'll need for the next year, submit that on a survey to FERCOG for diesel, heating oil, and gasoline. And then uh, we just got the bids back this afternoon, actually. Um, and I can't recall the prices for each of those off the top of my head. But again, Morabito is the low bidder for heating oil. And then Burke is the low bidder for gasoline and diesel. Um, but we have now we have that per gallon price. So we can plug that into that spreadsheet. And that should give us roughly what we should ask, you know, budget. Um, and then we'll probably want to include a little bit of squish, particularly, particularly for gasoline and diesel, because you know, if you go over your allotted amount, then they can charge you a variable rate um, and that can add up pretty quickly. So, so that's how that works. We have to do on our side right now, as far as like reaching out to them, we've already, we're already like approved to. Yeah, we're good. So uh, I think Andrea Woods will probably, or not Andrea Woods, cause she's retired. Uh, Ellen Batchelder at FERCOG will send contracts to, um, okay. to Dave probably. Um, and then you'll you know sign those and be good to go. Hey Christopher, if if we do not use the amount that we have purchased and we can't take it, do we get charged a return price because we didn't use all the gallons we bought? So we got to be a little careful there, don't we? Yeah, there's there's some charge there. Um, I I'd have to ask Hoppy because he he knew how to deal with it in the past. Um, but there is a way to address if you, you know, expecting to have excess. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to be aware because I, I know we used to do it where it works, so I wanted to bring it up. We just don't want to give it away if we don't have to. So, Ann, yeah, I'll be right. just asking you what was in the heating oil line item because he wanted to top everything off because he said if you don't use it all, they charge to store it. Okay. And I told him to go ahead and um, spend it. whatever we had yeah. left and <clears throat> fill it up. So, we did that. Right. Usually we just dump it in the, the town hall one because that's the biggest tank. And then that way we don't have to pay the five cents a gallon or whatever it is, storage fee. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So um, we'll keep an eye out for the contract to come in and get um, joined. Do you want to put that on the agenda for next week, just in case, or the week is next week Memorial Day? Yeah. 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 Just in case. You're going to have to have a meeting on Thursday. I don't know. On Thursday, we'll have to have one. Okay. This Thursday? This Thursday. The this last, Thursday. The last day that you can post, sign and post the warrant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we... I just got the warrant back from the lawyers. So changes have to so meet. We have to make, meet here. on Thursday. When do we have to post for a Thursday meeting? Tonight? Thursday. No. The Thursday, no. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, so you'll and post for... 6 o'clock. Yeah. Right, hold on. Let me just double check. Um, it's what, 23rd. Thursday, I have a fire department meeting. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, that's probably that got not. canceled. That got canceled. Okay. Okay. So six six o'clock here. Select board. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're gonna be in the mall. All right. We won't ask you to zoom because we know how that works. Yeah. You Relative, <laughs> relative to that fuel cost, who will come back and let me know so I can update Chris, it so we can get Chris, can you send Jackie the, the fur cog bid prices? Yeah, I, I will forward that right now. Thank you. 
Thanks, Fred. Any other questions? No. So it's general government. Okay. Public safety. Okay. Uh, bottom line, we're at 289. Um, okay. Nothing big here to report, I wouldn't say. Um, we should ask some questions. No, I don't have questions for you. I'm just kind of questioning the extra 13,000 for Tree Warden in May. But that's not you. Oh, <laughs> I'm just okay. wondering when it's going to get spent, when it's going to get spent on. Yes, Mary. We are in non-compliance as far as the inspector of the animal goes. There is a fine. Do we not have, have someone right now? We do not have an inspector of animals. We need you, the board, to appoint or recommend an appointment so that we can send it to the state. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm not do that to you. Which one is that? That's the inspector of animals. animals. So we're they're driving out and looking I at. I will ask my wife. Oh, yeah. so she's about to have a baby. Right, but she's <laughs> also certified already to do that by the state. <laughs> so, okay. and it's all one-time inspection a year that they're required to do. Okay. She has a bigger job with animal control. I don't okay. ask her if she wants to go in for these. Please right. know that there has been no effort work done on that. Farm said that they're visiting a long time and they found that on the road that they go on. So she'll have to go to work on it. Yeah, you're poor way. Thank you. Thank you, John. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Again, the thing that's driving this increase is the ambulance. Okay. okay. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Gateway. Came and said, "We need X, Y, Z." Was this in that ballpark? I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. The ambulance. Are there any other bus? Oh, I don't know. These that fit besides the front seat. Yeah. Well, there are, but they're they're flat. Yeah. I mean, it was a three or five. Me neither. It's three. <laughs> well, I mean, I was five. surprised. But I wasn't yeah. quite when you go out to bid. You might have 10 people come to your bidders conference, but only the friends who bid. Only the friends who bid. Right. Um, now we have 164,652 for the ambulance. They were just here. What were they saying? Um, they, I don't know if they know what we budgeted for and if they can add for them. They were saying. Well, this was their ask, right? Right, right. That was their ask. Initial ask, right? They were saying about seventy five hundred increase. No, they they're talking about their total budget. Um, well, I don't okay. see an increase for. They were saying that they because it costs it costs sixty six thousand two hundred ninety to cover Blanford's EMS needs, right. and Huntington and Hilltown um, collects forty two. They're losing seven thousand. Okay, so if, if it costs sixty six to cover Blanford, what did they ask for? Sixty four to sixty two. Yeah, that was their ask. Do you have the copy of the warrant that or not warrant that the budget that you signed already for their request to break out of their money? I have this that she just gave me. Oh, you have and your email open right now. It looks my email is open. All right, I'll forward you the email now. It looks like it's saying the cost to provide coverage to all Lamford's calls. That's what they oh for twenty twenty three was sixty six thousand two hundred ninety. Yeah. So I think we're around the right amount. They didn't they didn't request it if they're not there. Let's go with that for now. And if you want to go with what? With the 64 okay. for now. And if it increases, it should only be an increase of like a thousand. Okay. Goodwood Public Safety? Yep. Cool. Education. It is what it is. So the it one is. difference between here and what Chris had originally given us for a warrant uh -huh. was Chris was taking sixty nine thousand from education, specialization, and finance committees from capable thinking raising appropriate 
leave education stabilization as it is. Okay. <clears throat> for the next year that we don't have. I so we so good. we're not raising an appropriate or we're not um seeing Thanks anything for from stabilization. Correct. Okay. So question maybe Christopher you can help here. We had that 275 in there, but we didn't know what that vocational number was going to be. Is that changed? Do you know? Yeah, so the way that works is uh, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education sets rates for non-resident um, vocational students, and they've already set those rates. And I know from uh, Gateway's budget presentation that there are 13 students from Blanford who are attending either VOC in, at Smith or at Westfield. Um, I don't know the breakdown of those students, though, how many are in, in each um so that's something you have to actually call the schools directly and it sometimes is a little bit of a process getting them to tell you hey we've got six students who have you know accepted at, at smith folk or whatever mm -hmm. um so i would say this week um you know give those schools a call and try to nail down that number um and then uh two you know that 275 ballpark though is probably pretty close that that i, I believe includes a little bit of extra money because they have special education costs that they that um you know will come up during the year so call each um vocational school or call gateway well, gateway doesn't have well, the answer gateway call doesn't. Call. Okay. yeah call call smith Vogue and call westfield tech okay and then just pay how many people were accepted not necessarily how many people were come. Uh, and then we just have to budget for accepted and and we have extra yeah. And, and recall that if anybody moves into the district at the end of the year, you're stuck with it. So a full year, we get half rate. Yeah. It depends when they move. Well, I just, just asked how it works. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Is that an action that you'll take? Or how's that? Um, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, um, let me just, all right. So I need to call Smith, yeah. Smith Boat and Westfield Tech. See the number. And I'll get that to you, Jackie. Okay. 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 On to public works. Okay. So, a couple of numbers that the uh, from a you know highway salaries. Obviously, no, there's discussions going on there. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys will have to come back to me and let me know and the rest of the team know what is going on with salaries once you renegotiate your budget. Okay. We did increase um, the highway super. Yeah. You can give that to me. Okay. I know. Update it. Okay. Um... Vehicle fuel we left flat. Is that also going to come in when I get this information from Chris? Is that going to so. impact that number? I'm yeah. telling the ones that short right yeah, now. That should be under for Dennis Burke. Yeah. Dennis Burke? Mm -hmm. It looks right. like it says you need the first pod big. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. For gas. Um, everything else now. You know, the only things so you guys pop in here if you want. Um, the only thing that we did is they had asked for fifty thousand for the canopy work, mm -hmm. the canopy work. We took it down to flat over the last year to twenty. Okay. Um, so that at least you should know about that. Okay. You know. Um, so what was he was requesting more? Right. Requesting was fifty. Right, Thirty thousand more. Okay. Okay. Did he explain? The only thing I had really was notes from him that was around um, wanting to do more small projects and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Um, uh, I know that there's definitely been an issue with the communication between highway and tree warden, and that the tree canopy work greatly affects the amount of ice on the roads, right? Which then affects on um, the wearing down of roads. I don't know if we want to look at 
giving him a little bit more funding. I know that they did a lot of tree canopy work on your road, and I think that it made a huge difference to Um, It looks like he's using all of his budget, so it looks like he's using yeah. all of his budget so far. He said the amount of funding is only enough for one week and one detail. That's what he said. It was pretty crazy expensive. Pretty work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you have to hire somebody, it's not yeah. cheap. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you want to recommend a little bit more on that? Well, I'd like to go to 25,000. That would have been the next detail. I was thinking sure. going up to 30 if it was possible, but what do you think, TJ? I think, yeah, I think 25. 25? Okay. 25. So if that's okay, we can go to the other side. I think it's okay. Okay. Um, highway repair, new roads. Um, he was asking 130, uh, and the comment there was able to do more small projects at a lower cost. Okay, and so you level funded it at the 115. Yep. Only because if you go back and you look at what's been spent so far, yeah, we only spent 83,000 so far. Okay. Right. That's kind of why mm -hmm. he did it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. You guys good with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, he did ask for additional money for overtime. Um, and so he was asking for seven. We came in at five. And okay. then we reflected on the year to date. Mm -hmm. He hasn't even, he hasn't hit the 4,000 yet. I know he's been like um, trying to monitor the amount of time because he didn't have. You know, right. a large amount there. So I think the five is a good. Uh, the five. Yeah. Okay. Well, his challenge, he said, is that when they're working, he has to stop them if he doesn't have the overtime. He's still got yeah. overtime in there. To yeah. Spend. And we have the ice or the <coughs> winter overtime as well. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. The rest of it is just really up. Based on the context, the collective good. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's it for public works. Okay. Any questions, you guys? No. Anything you want to add? Please? No. Human resources. Okay. Here we are. Now, <clears throat> this is um, for the Let's see. For the BOH secretary, um, we were kind of in a state of conflict on some stuff because yeah. people were coming in and asking for raises. You know, and, you know, we're not really the people to give raises. Mm -hmm. we'll, give, we'll say, hey, the poll adjust is the right thing to do. Yeah. But we don't know what people do to say, or how well they do it. Let's just say that. Sure. We even kick in. I agree. Whether with or not. Yeah. Now, for the BOH secretary, she came in and really had a laundry list of duties that she's doing that's different than what she's done before, mm -hmm. including um, uh, grants. Okay. So we felt, uh, you know, she was worthy. Okay. Mm -hmm. You feel okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Sure um, but on that line, in the future, should we refer people like that to you first? Well, it wouldn't be with the TA normally. The TA is doing the um the overseeing of the our like highway superintendent right. and, and our you know um most of those positions. We don't see them as okay. much. Okay. So they would okay. also have some recommendation in that. Okay. But we also did the report not too long ago to bring people up at least into the that. Yeah. yeah, the cons. Right. Right. Go ahead, Mary. Um the board of health as an elected board would set the salary or the wage for their employees and they can do that because they have a medical hazmat material of the sharks mm -hmm. that is specifically referenced i believe in either the NEO or mass general laws or something but it, that aside um when you have a secretary who's on the board of health and the secretary, I feel like that's kind of a yeah, yeah, right, right. But, but yeah, that seems fair. But you do have multiple people on board of health, so if they're taking a vote as the entire board, right. secretaries, also their secretary, that's still 
the board responsibility to monitor that subject as much like the assessors. Right. Okay. So it's not really the town administrator that does that, it's the board. Not monitoring that much. Okay. So we're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. The um, tipping charge is a real goal. And that's not anything that you, you can do anything about, but wow. just wanted to point that out. Okay. Um, she did mention in the notes that, you know, 23000 comes back from the town stickers. Okay. So that's a good thing. Um, and the rest of these, I think, we're good. Okay. <coughs> no. On to culture and recreation. The library, and, you know, Mary, you jump in here too because you ever you know a lot about the library and right um the library has gone up by eleven thousand. So um you know that was really based on again <clears throat> increasing over the three point two cola. Now is that something that you have reviewed at her, whether or not you did an increase or yeah, I know that that there's just increased the hours mm -hmm. and we warned the finance committee starting I think two or three years ago that we were gonna have to work to catch up. Plus Nicole is putting in many additional hours without compensation for what we've got going on. Okay. And we had a we had an oops in last year's budget. That's correct. I remember, yeah. yeah. So okay. that's correct. This Correct a multitude. Okay. Okay. We okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else that Mary does that we lowered the recreation committee expense mm -hmm. because of the Russell Fund. Yeah. And, right. Um and, and the historical commission expenses, there's a laptop expense that we put in there. Okay. Any questions? Okay, we are down to debt. So that's it for really the expense one we've got so right? Do you guys want to add anything on there? Any no, no, no. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? No debt. No debt. You can say that. <laughs> I don't know. Sarah doesn't like that. She doesn't like when we say that. Okay. <laughs> she thinks I mean, it's I think a she can be good. I think he's right, right so but I don't know quite why. Yeah. Talk about their are, is our annual or is our committee town meeting happening here or there? There. In there. Oh, it is in there? Yeah, so we actually have to move. Chris, I have, I have a question yeah. about yeah. debt. Oh, mm -hmm. it's here. It's here. So it's in here. There's no setup. Oh, oh. No, it's yeah. It's Chris, you there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. There's a lot of crosstalk. Is somebody. So saying something okay. to me. <laughs> the question is, we're we're paid off most of our debt, but we're still counting uh, override for debt exclusion. Is that over right. is debt exclusion still work even though we don't have a debt? Or is the debt exclusion end when the debt ends? So there, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there is still a debt exclusion that has to do with the school. Um and that's coming to an end, I think. This year. Either this year or next. Yeah, okay, this year. Um, and then other than that, you know, there's the broadband debt, which is still out there. However, you've now got a self-sustaining municipal light plant that can cover that those costs. And then you're going to have federal money coming in as well. So that's pretty much going to be taken care of. Um, the landfill capping debt, I believe either the last payment was this year or it will be FY25. So um, that's dealt with. And then the other thing that's coming up is the SCADA project. Um, so that borrowing was already authorized. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, Dave, I can't hear you. What, are you saying something? The scatter, SCADA project was not debt excluded, was it? It was not, no. Right. And then, so did that, that was our argument, Chris, for being in a better position to borrow for the um, fire department building situation? Yeah, so you have, um, you also had this road repair debt that we paid off last year. So you basically kind of wiped the, the decks clean there. Um, and to, I think, Janet's point, 
Sarah and other, you know, members of the financial team usually like to see these towns making sure they're, because we know there are things we need to pay for out there, right? Um, so it's, if there is something that you can borrow for, it would probably make sense. Um, probably this year, you know, we don't necessarily have our ducks in a row to do that. Um, but it would be something to talk, you know, talk to Dave, are there roads he needs to, to do, uh, talk to, you know, do that condition assessment, find out, if there are things lurking in the town hall that really need to be dealt with, the roof, I know that's one that's Jeff has brought up before. Um, so there's definitely things out there that you could, <laughs> that he'll probably want to borrow some money for is, is what I would say. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he had talked about doing a road bond <laughs> two weeks ago. Okay. Any questions? Employee benefits or employee benefits is one of the issues. Oh, good. yes. I don't think we have to. Do we have to um, sure stop it between the town meeting? We do. No, no. I put it on the agenda as followed by mini town meeting. Oh, okay. So yeah. So we're so fine. We can just the time and adjourn to reconvene. I think we just do we have to do anything, or would just be mini town meeting. It's not like there's many people joining us, but there's still a whole lot on the agenda. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we, can still, we can still complete that, right? right. After we're done going over the budget. I'm not sure why you separate this and call it a mini town meeting. I really don't know either. Bylaws. Yeah, we get to get that it, number. It's, it's, it's a finance report to, to the town. It's what yeah. it is prior to that. So, if it's on the agenda, or does it say? It's on the agenda. As part of the agenda, or is it after the town meeting? After the select board. Right. Right. And select so board meeting followed by mini town meeting. <laughs> so you should you should adjourn until the completion of the mini town meeting. So we're gonna adjourn, but we're gonna just continue to go over the budget. Because unless new people come in, yeah. Unless new people come in. Okay. Does that make Locked sense? Lots of <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll adjourn, but we will re be reconvening after the mini town meeting at 7.01. Second. Okay. Aye. 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 All right. Aye. All right. Aye. Continue. All right. Danny has a good point. Down in the area of town insurance, mm -hmm. I think, is that a comment from you, Chris? The need number from I MIIA, or is that may have been like, because we did not get that number. Do you know where we would get that number? Yeah, if you reach out to Mick Gerald at at Maya, they'll be able to send you an updated amount. Mick Gerald? Yeah, Mick Gerald, G-A-R-R-O-L-D. I have that information, Jack. Okay, all right. Yeah, I was going to say he met with them for that purpose, I think, so we should have it. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, Jen, last week, she's talking about next year volunteering um, yeah. to help us to get some money and no money back. Right? Yeah. But that, no, she, she doesn't need to be a part of that for the cost for the town. For the okay. Group. I think that's the wrap. That okay. really to the end. Yeah. Um, because we already went through the tax levy stuff. Okay. Um wow. So should so we time record time? time? <laughs> so we do you said there's some changes so to, the us. to the warrant We're beyond uh, yeah, as, the as these as these numbers change, the warrant numbers change. Okay. And right. Chris did right. up the first warrant. I redid some stuff. I both Chris and I have been in contact with Mark. Mark sent us the revised warrant with his changes. Okay. I'll put all those changes in and send it back to Mark to make sure I didn't miss anything so that Thursday you can sign the warrant if it's posted. So the only thing on our agenda Thursday is um, approving the warrant. No, we have an executive. Executive. And a executive session. Session for union negotiations. Okay. So those are the only two things. Um, of course, you find time to do it tonight. Okay. And you don't need to have copies of the <laughs> proposal. That could work. Yeah, that would work. Um, do, what was my next question? Uh, it was about, it was about, what were we just talking about? <laughs> um, insurance. No, it wasn't insurance. Don't take my job. My job is to forget things. Yours is to remember. <laughs> oh, no, it's expensive period. What's your name? It's <laughs> <laughs>
So um, just to add ahead. a question, if any of these numbers change that we talked about, is that going to change the work? Yes. Yeah. Like the fuel costs, all that? Yep. Okay. So, so at what point do we say? Before? We can change it on the floor, right? A number if we need to? If you have to. So when you put these final numbers in, like it, Chris gives you the protocol numbers, you put those numbers in, and you already put the numbers in, that they wanted more money for this thing. Mm -hmm. That bottom line that we get then just plugs into the. So the only thing that's going to change is the total um, raise and appropriate for government. Yeah. Okay. That's all you've changed so far. Yeah. Uh, I know what I was going to ask. We are definitely holding off on the exit article for a mini town meeting. Is that correct? It's not on this warrant? Correct. Okay. So got here right. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Thank you guys for all the work you've been doing, all of you. Um, budget. How many spreadsheets yeah. can you figure out? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I want to thank Jackie. She did oh, the yeah. majority of the work with things. Dave and Chris and Elf. I appreciate you uh, checking the email. That's been very helpful. Mm. Otherwise, so many things would be. Well, there's a couple in there that, yeah. How, yeah. Can I just ask the question? Sure. Here? I don't know how this works. But there's a couple things that I think that someone's got to look at them because they, they're like, need to be done now kind of thing. Yeah. What do I do with those? Do I go to you? Do I, you know, bring them back in here? How do you want to handle them? You those? can send them to me. And if I have an idea of, what, what to do with them. Like, Otherwise, I'm probably going to ask Chris or Dave yeah. or, yeah, or someone. Think, but if it, like, I, in my mind, I'm thinking there's at least one around grant updating. Commission. Yeah, that one. Are you talking about the ADA one? Because that one. That's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I've reached, I responded to that gentleman. I haven't heard back. And I just said, we are without a town administrator. Can we have some leniency regarding this date? Mm -hmm. And I have not heard back because I don't know how to get that information. Nicole's asking for information. I don't know how to get all that information for Nicole. The SUFA sign lady is looking for information that I don't have either. Asking if permits were taken out, if there's a cement pad. Oh, uh, I can't answer that. No, there's no cement pad. We just picked location. Not a final location. And that Who's email that? is yeah. aging. What should, I, what should I tell her? We well, really need an interim. Um, <laughs> okay. June 15th. Okay. We'll have a place for the suit to sign. Okay. So can we ask Dave for some help with the con the concrete? Do you want to you if you want to just forward it to me and then I will reach out to Dave and ask him if he can help us with touching base with her and help us come in contact with someone to get the concrete. If you're already pouring concrete, are you pouring concrete over there right no, now? No, not yet. Well, but you're not going to pour concrete. You're not going to pour concrete. No, the guy is that's doing the job is a concrete expert while he's right there. Do you want to let Chris go? Yeah. Christopher, we need you back. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> you can't quit. Yeah, too bad. Say hi. Okay. I'm probably going to have more questions for you, Christopher. I apologize in advance. He's just shaking. <laughs> well, we, we should have a location. Oh, that's what I just said. We do. We do. For the Sufa sign. Okay. Okay. Who's that mean? Thank you, Christopher. Just where we're going to put the cement oh. slab. Okay. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> have a good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Can, can we, can I get, I need the budget as passed by town meeting for the preceding three years. Yeah. But it's on the annual report, isn't it? Uh, look at the one from last year, and there's multiple pages missing. There are only three or four pages there, so I don't know what happened to the guts of the thing. And unfortunately, the Board of Library Commissioners wants to know where the library sits in relationship to all of the other town department expenditures. So that's what's hanging above. Oh, I see. Um, now, I had that in this spreadsheet, and, you know, I just don't know how accurate those prior years are, where it says approved, mm -hmm. okay. right? So, if you feel comfortable with me just 
cutting that out. Wouldn't it be sure. in the well, well yeah, the right. mini town meeting? I've got it going back two years. I think Did two you? years will be. Couldn't we look I at mean, the town meeting? The um, budget there? from two years ago, and then that run goes back yeah. several yeah. years. Do you need okay. just a total, or do you need the actual we need line item? Department by department. That's what they're asking for. I'm the sorry. Day. Just for the library or everything? Oh, oh. It, whatever, the the budget, whatever you have. The entire be. town budget for the preceding yeah. three years. As I mean, if we have the annual report, and just send the right annual report. report. So we got it. But you're I not tried sure that. You and, 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 and you, you share Nicole with them. has okay. asked and they want to accept that. Just quickly. And there's two changes that would be made last year. This stay in the thoughts, which I didn't even know. The 211 for free cash should be 150, and then there should be 50,000. dollars I changed it on the printout, okay? It should be after, yeah. I noticed that when it came back up. I was having, I had to get rid of Norton completely off my list. Don't get Norton, you're gonna hear from me so. As far as the other, like the ADA thing goes, I don't know what to do about that because I, like I said, I reached out, I haven't heard back. I don't know who else I would ask to compile that information because, I mean, it's gotta be somewhere. Before you go any further, you should end your mini town meeting. Oh, go back okay. into the session because you're talking about things that aren't quite related. Make a motion then, uh, the mini town meeting. Uh, yes, I. Second. I got it. All right, reconvening at 7 11. Um, we're just back in our normal meeting now. We ended our special, our mini town meeting. And then we just had the mini town meeting, and that yeah. five minutes. That was it. That yeah. was 10 minutes of mini town meeting. Yeah, right. So, yeah. It's just <laughs> reviewed budget. Thank reviewed you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> John, question? Uh, Thank you. We could. The next you think I just town meeting there. that's not budget, and uh, Zach, my wife would ask me to put on the agenda to talk to you about finances with the animal inspector and how it works because huh. she's interested in doing it, but she doesn't want to inherit <laughs> a budget headache because there has to be some budget for dispatching animals and whatnot. So mm -hmm. she's interested in the job and getting appointed. She mm -hmm. just wants to iron out what's good. Okay. Um, Joanne, would you put that on our the meeting that will be after Memorial Day? Um, so it will be um for animal inspector. Six three. I don't know details of that one. I don't know who's going to be able. So we're I'll have her write an email for the question she has, so you can have the answer. Okay. That's helpful. Right. We have to go. No, Clark knows. Okay. Okay. Thursday. I guess. Kind of Thursday. Okay. For the warrants, we need to be here. No, well, we don't be. need to be here. No, because once once you've got the budget here <gasps> and they've got the numbers, those numbers just I just take them off your budget. <laughs> put them in. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, Excuse me. Okay. I don't think I have anything. Um, oh, when's the final final budget supposed to be done? Wrapped. For annual town meeting. Okay. And when is that? Third. June third, June third. But I'll need your numbers for the warrant, which is June third, third, third nine a.m. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, for Thursday. For I Thursday. Know. So yeah. we want the warrant to be as close to the budget as yeah. we, if the budget changes between then and June third. I mean, yeah, no, whenever the town meeting. June third. We can we can on the floor adjust numbers up or down. Okay. As needed, because the town has the right. To raise and appropriate money, however, they so desire as long as you can. I need um, the highway numbers. You need the highway numbers. numbers. Oh, yeah. We just have the you warrant. probably will not have them. We in just increase, we went up 5%. Okay. Just for the individual. Mm -hmm. um, can I ask these questions if anyone here can help me? <laughs> um, this is for the grant for the library. The um, name of the municipal. Municipal official with sole awarding authority. Is that me or is that the like our invisible TA or no? If it's the authority that's vested in you as a select board, so that would be me. Okay, so what about the name of the official receiving the MPLCP funds? That's also me or 
or is that like account like somewhere in the accounting? Oh, that's the Massachusetts Public Library Construction Fund. Yeah, would be the the town would be receiving it. On the but I need the, the official, the name of the municipal official. Is that me too? Because I don't really. I. We'll post things. Is the treasurer post things to the treasurer? Okay. So I would put so for the um receiving I'm gonna put Sarah or Madam Okay, hold on. And then there's the um approving expenditure, the municipal um official approving expenditure of those funds. That would be oh because it's a state grant, it's not anything to do with the trustees. Um, I would, I would send it back to you guys to approve the expenditure. So select board because okay. you had voted or recommended the changes to it. Okay, and then I need um, the primary contact. I guess I can put me for now. I don't really want to be the primary contact. <laughs> I think yeah. that's it. Uh, and then authorized to serve as the certified public purchase here, certified public purchasing off official. That would be our procurement officer, which we do not have, right? Mm -hmm. So how should I help Nicole with that? Do you have anyone in town who's actually certified as a procurement officer? Um, Most Bill of Lapis was. Christopher was too. Christopher was, yeah. yeah. Right. But you have no one currently in the town. No one currently. Can I just put um, town I mean, administrator? Well, it depends. You don't have one. We don't have. You don't have one yet. Yeah. Well, can I just write the title, blank for town administrator? Sure. Then, okay. Then you have to make sure that he or she is it. actually certified. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's. I was stuck on that. Yeah. Um. But no, we got other stuff on our agenda. Don't get too excited. That was just the last of my the, um finance. If you don't, I you think guys, you're good. <laughs> you guys want to stay? You don't have to. All right. Um, action items. We've got review and act on warrant for annual town meeting. Um, we're gonna table that because we're gonna make changes. Yeah. So you can okay. do that Thursday. Table till Thursday. Is there a second? All in favor? All right. Hi. Um, review and act on proposed urine transfers. What do we have? Do I have those? I have those in here, I think. Um, warrants, warrants. Here we go. So we have, um, no, the payroll. Do we have any urine transfers, Joanne? I don't know. Well, you will eventually because you you're, you're, you're you a deficit money. there, so you got to transfer. Yeah, do need but we don't have money. anything yet. Okay. No. Okay. We'll table that till next week. Well, right? Am I doing this? I, I don't understand. I need more words here. I, I'm out of money. How do we usually do that? I'm town administrator. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, basically, with the finance, um, we used to just take it from within the department, but not payroll. But now it's coming out of reserve. Every single time, and we're running out of money. But I'll have to look and see what we have left in reserve. But at this point, we can start to take it out of other places, right? In May, are we at that point yet? I thought you couldn't do it until June. No, no May first. May first. Okay. May first. Okay. So between line if items. there's an account that's underexpended, overexpended, and you let us know, and then we can, with the recommendation from finance, I just did. So if you, if, but there's more than that one you said? There's five accounts that I know of right now that are overspent. So if you want me to do something, I will, but I've never done this. So, so if you just it, let us know. I'll go right. ahead. Is, is all you really need to do is, is write those five accounts out? To give to, Tell you what the balance is, give it to you on Thursday. Right. And then you'll also have the end of the year uh, or the current total expenditures by line item by department. Right, because the last one was May. That's that's about another week out. He told me. Okay. So, so expenditure report. Yeah, it's. I asked for it for tonight. I said it was important that it, the new one got here tonight because I used to get it from them. Short, you know, last Thursday was pay, and I get it pretty much on Monday. 
but not anymore. So like if, said, if you give them the line items that are already overdrawn, and then when they get the expenditure report, they can take we can with, with pick accounts recommendation yeah. mm -hmm. for the finance committee right. to I'll have that to you on Thursday. Perfect. Thank you. All right, so we'll table that till Thursday. Second. Hi. Hi. All right. Um, so we have a uh, warrant for payment number 23. So that is this one right here. This is water. Oh, do we need to talk about the water situation with the this is so large because of the of the water park? No, Green Site Tree and Land, DBA, Bridget Wixom, Water Department Maintenance. Oh, they must have they they hired someone to cut down trees. Remember they were wanting to use oh, the Oh yeah, yeah, it was twelve four thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth, but it's nine thousand. <laughs> it was four thousand five hundred for each one, unless they accidentally put two in here. We said it was going to be like forty. Oh, it's going to be four thousand to do it all. Yeah, both sides. So it's four thousand five hundred, and then another four thousand five hundred. No. No. So four thousand five hundred for clearing the area, and four thousand five hundred for removing trees. Is that what it was? He said he'd do everything. That, for yeah, that, that was that was the deal. He was okay. The so thing for the four thousand. Don't need to hold on to that. Hold on so that. Yeah. So Joanne, we're holding on the water warrant. So I'll just write it right here. The question, we thought it was going to be $4,500 total. Yeah. That's what he told us in the newspaper. It's water. Yeah. You know, it's coming out of maintenance. But they told us it was only going to be half that. Okay. All right, so now we have the other warrant um, for, so I would say, Motion to hold on warrant 23 for water department payments. 23. With yeah. questions regarding um, costs. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so now we have the Wait, warrant number 23 for the town. Okay, the uh, same warrant number, but it's just this is for town and not water because it's <clears throat> the same warrant cycle. Um, is it on the same? No, it's on a different. Okay. So broadband. Um, ask me things. Okay, so we've got a lot of fire department expenses. This is. Says on scene. I'm not really sure what those are about. You guys want to take a look? No. Should we second? We no. There's second. Second for discussion. Yes. Second for okay. discussion. On scene is a repair that was done to engine one's light bar. And, ah, thank you. And Scott Pack. Holding. He did tell me about that. Uh, while he's doing that, I'd make a motion to appoint Ryan Stafford to Historical Commission for term July 1st, 24th to June 30th, 27th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, motion to appoint Nicholas. Pietro Noir, the position of conservation agent, yeah. term July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2025. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to appoint Margaret McCuskey, the position of American Disabilities Act member for July 1st, 2024 to June 30th, 2025. Second. Any discussion? 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, motion to appoint Gordon Avery to the position of Water Department Superintendent. The term of July 1st, 2024 to June 30th, 2025. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Are we are we good on this warrant? Yeah. Okay. All in favor for the warrant. Sorry, Joanne, we're moving around on you. Aye. 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 Okay, got a sign it though. Um, oh my gosh, this is how things get lost. Uh, motion to appoint. Oh no, I don't want that. <laughs> Carol Attender to the FRTA advisory board. Anyone else want this? No, they were, they're not anyway. So, I use your name, Bob. It's got to be you. Yeah. <sighs> well, third, for, third, it doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist. I'm saying it. I don't know. They still send me that they're having meetings. Yeah. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to appoint um, John Van Heinegan as no, no yes no because he's going to get oh I thought he was re resigning yeah wait no, no he just resigned last time I didn't do his appointment it wasn't on the agenda so maybe we did it but it wasn't on the he agenda. wants to be reappointed I thought he wanted to no he asked well he has to be because he's going to be working with this guy and I don't know exactly when he's he said August thirtieth in this letter yeah. yeah what if it's not August thirtieth it doesn't hurt because it's just a piece of paper and I can change it on okay. August twelfth uh, okay say, okay John's gone okay let's get rid of him just and let's make the other call. guy the full time inspector. All right, motion to appoint Second. John Van Hunt again, the electrical inspector for the term July 1st, 2024 to June 30th, 2025. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to appoint Eric Karchev, CPA, to the position of town account for the term July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2025. KL. <laughs> Second. No, we'll study on the next line. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to appoint Kim Berglund to the Zoning Board of Appeals to the term July 1st, 2023, or 2024, right? To uh, June 30th, 2026. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, then we need to rescind a motion. Sorry. <laughs> we need to rescind a motion um, because Joanne reached out to the attorneys and we were not a part of the opioid um, litigation. So motion to rescind the select board meeting um, motion from May 13, 2024, as stated. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And we don't have the all Spanish report, so we will go motion to go into a Right, exactly. So, no, Mary. Um, I just wanted to let the board know that the week of June on June thirteenth, we will have someone from Homeland uh, Security here to review our election security. Okay. Oh, we do have this too. Um, new business. We have a um, affirmation of community commitment. Um, no money is to be paid by Blankford. It's just a um, municipal in-kind in match of $250, the DLTA grant of $5,000, and a PVPC cash match of $250 to um, work with the town of Chester and Blankford during the coming year to investigate the sharing of services between the respective town's fire departments under its district local technical assistance program. Um, so nothing coming out of this that's concrete. It's just continuing the exploration, seeing if um, there's anything that um, benefits both towns. What will come out will be a, um, a shared plan and report um, with Pioneer Valley Planning. Um, I'd make that motion to, um, uh, to move forward with the draft DLTA FY24 scope of services for the Chester Blanford Shared Fire Department. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. This is the 24th. No, it's the 20th. So this is supposed to be signed by Chester to Joanne, but um, I think that if you just send this to Pioneer Valley, our signature, they're probably going to get one from Chester. That's what we did. That was the whole chunk of it. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. I need to 
All right. Um, is that it? What's this here? The budget and program revision form. Come on. We had a couple questions in there for you guys that you need to answer for me tonight. Yes, you can have it. <laughs> what? We wanted a new compressor for the refrigerator. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm okay. bringing it up. The motion that we give you a new one for eighteen hundred dollars. Okay. Um, where's that? Yes, but where does that come out of? Just curious. Is that town hall maintenance? Yeah. I'll add it. You can go go well, spend the yeah, cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it has to be done. Okay. Yeah. No, I just don't yeah. They're just picking on you. Tell them to knock it up. That's my girl. Don't be picking on me. Oh, no. <laughs> my little sitting there. I don't take that to Um, favorite? Yeah. Aye. 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 Um, okay. This is a together what should be the final extension request for the community. Um, it's the CDBG. This is the um community building working on homes. Okay. Those, those are the words that I have right now. <laughs> that works. We got you. Um, okay, so this is an extension to increase um, funds available until 9-30-2024. So I would say a motion to approve the um, extension to the CDBG program through September 30th, 2024. Second. Um, there? Aye. Aye. So we're the sign there. Do you have any, what other questions do you have for us, Joanne? Uh, I wrote them all down, so if oh, you go in here. Yeah. All right, I got that. We did that one. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> water department, um, the the leak that was a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, that we clarified? Yes. Yeah, yeah, but okay. that was affecting the town. During the time, um, the water department superintendent wasn't responding to emergency management texts. And so the fire chief sort of took the lead and we did not have any water to provide to residents who didn't have water. So he ordered water, um, it was $2,000. Um, and so we have this water in town now. And so I had said to him, when we were in the state of emergency, go ahead and order it and water department will have to pay for it. So water department is refusing to pay for it, um, but they didn't have any water. So I don't know how that works as a well, elective board. Yeah. It's here, it's, it's here. in town hall. So the next time yeah, there is an anywhere. emergency, yeah. now we yeah, have water. Somewhere. Can't have, got to move out of place, right? Yeah, the water, you can't keep it forever. Yeah, no. there is a can't keep it there and it does yeah. expire. Yeah. It's oh, it, 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 grow. it needs to be in a dark room and it, it absorbs the plastic and yeah, there's a lot of things that go on if it gets real old. Should we move it to the stage? Is that dark enough up there? I should... Yeah, that's. they okay. just need to get it off the floor. Mm -hmm. So the stage is fine. If they get it off the floor... They put a date on it when it was there so we can walk by and glance at it. If okay. it so what so about... They share the they 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 are they are they separate entities? Show my honor. So on are they, what are, what are they those those three gallon jugs? They're the big three five. They're the ones that are right. Yeah, they're, they're huge. They're five gallon four. four. Right. So, so well, I mean, if you needed, if you had them, you could. And they won't take them back. I don't know. I've suggested to them that they call and have them restocked and right. probably get a, a restocking fee. But it's better right. than having a yes. two hundred yeah. and sixteen bottles of water out there. Yes. Right. That are going the last several years. Um, and this break, we had a break last year and we didn't have water for residents. We keep having breaks every year and yeah. we have to keep ordering yeah. water for residents. It, it's they, not a bad thing to have on hand. No, we, we, didn't... Did, we should have water reserved. It can last several years. There is an expiration date on them. And this is the first time I've seen a huge water buy like this. I have, yeah, I haven't seen right, that. Have you something? We've done the water bottles before. I personally would prefer this. As those went, to a those the gallon, the gallon water ones went really fast. Yeah, but if, if you, if you yeah. don't have the proctor uh, dispenser, dispenser, exactly. Well, over regardless, it, what it's, over they're it. here now. Yeah. So we have to, I mean, in my opinion, I think water should pay for it. They were not prepared. Exactly. They did not respond. Yeah. Oh, they didn't we'll follow protocol. So how does that work as a elected board? How do we enforce a bill be paid out of their funds? Anyone know? You should also note, remember that 
that company waited like almost three years to get paid at one point. Really? Because the fire department ordered things and it never got paid and the fire chief turned over and the bills okay. just floated around. So we don't have a great record. They won't deal with us again if we do it again. Yeah, no. Okay. Any thoughts, Dave? Do we have? I don't think you have any control over the board other than replacing the board, but you could pay it out of current funds and then add that to their shared service yeah, or their, 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 their mm. oh, that's okay. probably another way to do it. I, I, should, I know it can't just bill them, mm. which we should be able to do, but they're so uncooperative with the rest of the town. So, so what I would actually do, I think I'll ask Mark, I have to check on him about that warrant anyways, is to see if we need a warrant article to uh, take that out of water department. Fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other problem we're having is, with the same situation is that there were highway employees used to help with the break. And Dave reached out to me and I said, yeah, that makes sense that that would come out of water department funds. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to pay for that either. And he doesn't want to pay for that. So we had to pay them. So the money came out of highway, but there's still the issue of does highway get refunded for that? Well, and going forward, if we have a break and we need to use highway personnel, what's... So my question is, who asked the highway to get involved? Did they get a call from the water department? Well, highway is a part of emergency management. Yeah, so it's... as while we were in a state of emergency, I would imagine that... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I would imagine that Highway Super would have said we need, I don't know. No, I don't The either, communication I, I was gotta do is make some kind of a way that exactly. this doesn't happen all the time. Right. Oh, he said, she said, they said, no, here it is in writing, and this is what it is. Right. Yeah. right. Agreed. You I know, mean, there's an so there's a protocol that they yeah. are supposed they to use that they didn't use. Like, now, is is there a, a budget for emergency management? College. Must be. Yeah, like well, the Lord 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 has the budget for breaks and repairs, and I think they have money in it. Then they should put a lot of water on the thing. Mm -hmm. That's what it's doing. Yeah, yeah I but that's like, it, I mean, that's what we're going to do. We're going to pay a lot of it. Well, they're going to pay dearly anyway. That's what it's going to pay dearly anyway. Okay, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's part of their policy. I think I grabbed a copy of it. Didn't we get a copy recently of their... Um, well, those guys got paid at least, but where are we going to take the water out of the payment for the $2,000? Should we take that out of like, so if, if it was under emergency, you know, how much do we have in that fund? You said a hundred bucks. Well, that's kind of not enough to get one guy out for a couple right. hours. So, you know, but a hundred dollars is really used for emergency planning purposes. Yeah. 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 Well, I know, but you know, sure. we have something that does is what I'm asking. Well, whose idea what? was it to take it out of emergency management? Was that something water came up with? Because they don't want to pay. No, well, that's that's the words that came to me. The decision was made to take it out of emergency management. By who? Must have been the water department in there. Maybe no. because where else would it come from? It exactly. didn't come from us. No, no. It didn't come from me. So do we take it out of I don't know. Well, why why can't the water department pay it and then charge the turnpike for it? Okay. That's what I think. Well, part of the week was on our thing. Wasn't part of the week on our property? It's all on here. It was all on the turnpike. Both well, leaks. They fixed one leak, and as soon as they pressurized it, they got another leak. Just got a good point, though, that there's not there's an account for emergencies. Yeah. You know, hurricane, you know, tornadoes come through, whatever. Here, whatever. Exactly. Right, yeah. right. I mean, basically, yeah. it's an account. It's like a placeholder. It's got $100 in yeah. it for what? Right. $100. So right. I'm not quite sure for what's that happening. Part. <laughs> um, right. There should be something written right. up. There should be some protocol as to what's well, happening. Usually, like, they should be charged 
the, the water department should pay for it and go after the state because it was their property. We didn't have any leaks in our system at all. That's right. So they should pay whatever. Well, and we had MEMA and involved. add it to the bill to the storm pipe. Yeah, where the state put it. When MEMA's involved, don't we get like a 25% back? No. No? It's based on how many reports come in, he said. Um, so, so, so any emergency you have, he said, make sure you send it, even if it's $200 that you spent, make sure you send it in. Once again, the, it sounds like that small towns get get the shaft. They have, there's a, <laughs> and you also have to declare a state of emergency. We did. She did that. Okay. Yeah, we did all that. I don't know if there was any paperwork we were supposed to fill out. We did that. We, I, we said, I will well, declare. The DOT is responsible, right? Who's responsible for the break? Well, they are. It's they're on the DOT property. Right. And we bill them for their water. Yes. Yep. Yes. So to right. me, it would be, you know, you had a break. We bill you for that $2,000. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, that's exactly I mean, we There's no way the fire department can pay for it. Or the water bill. Well, or the or the highway. No, who can't do that? Who owns those pipes underneath? They do. Yeah, the DOT. The DOT. The DOT was in here that day with me and Joanne, and the guy said the pipe is us. Where it goes is them. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. the, what broke was after us. Right. 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 So to me, they're responsible. The one was under the highway. That's the same, right? that's the same right. thing with private property, where the shutoff is. You know, on the main side, that's us. Continue. On that side. So where did our guys, where were our guys and the highway people working at? They were working on the I don't know. DLEs. They were looking for the leak. They were, they were looking for it. Yeah. And so then how they, do we charge that to the DOT? I don't know. For fixing well, it. Well, you can't pay for that part of it until they know where the lake is. I mean, the leak is, excuse me, the lake. We had a lake, too. But, I mean, if you're out here looking here, this is ours. And then you finally find it there. These guys got to get paid for from the water department, I would think. Yeah. Even when they're highway well, I mean, not. But when that's... you think about it, our people didn't have water. Right. Because of the DOT. That is correct. Yeah. So we create the water bills for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Well, that's, that's my. You know, that's why I agree with you. They, mm -hmm. the, the water department should pay for it and bill the DOT. Mm -hmm. So should we be billing, looking to bill the water department for the water and the highway salary? I would think so. I would. They're the one that sources the water to right. the town's people. Right. They're the ones that should pay it. If, right. You know, but that's my opinion. Have you actually sent them a bill? Or are you just water? asking it the one? No. No, we we were, the debate came up today Correct. when they were submitting payroll and water was like, don't submit it to us. <laughs> we're not paying it. They never want to pay any part of their product. So, they're going to save for that next car, you know. Oh, the truck, truck they want. He wants another truck. new truck. He wants another yeah. truck. Not to add insult to injury to this, but that break is goes to the side that still owes us $200,000. No, they paid it. They, they paid it. Oh, they did? Yeah. yeah. Did wow. it how was it McDonald's or was it the... It's the state. It's they the own the property. Yeah. So. And thank you to Jen yeah. who um, withheld the permit until it was paid. So they cut the show. Nope. Yeah. Oh, clever. Clever. That was like, I was like, I thank you, Karina. So if, you, if you want to, again, I've got to talk to Mark. I'm going to ask about Mark. Yeah. yeah. Right. And um, Joanne, do you know the number, um, the amount? I, I see you have the amount for the water, but do you have the amount for the um, highway guys? Labor. No, that would have to come from Sarah. Okay. I gave her the uh, timesheets for that. This okay. morning and the rates were on it, so maybe I can figure that out. No, like Sarah has to. Do Sarah, that. okay, so Sarah can get us that number. Is that is that outlined in the emergency procedures? That's what she's trying to look. I doubt it. I doubt there's anything. Right. I mean, I procedures. That's the problem. I there, no, I have no, something on Mike's desk that was a packet that said. You just you gave me a packet not long ago. That's a hundred thousand and one. Special permit. No, I mean, look in there. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Joanne, I know you gave me a packet not long ago that was that. I just, I don't know. Okay. I mean, so we're going to hold on that for a minute. Okay. We've got to stay on top of that. I think it's important. So I'm going to have to 
So this, I'm going to leave up here, and then we're going to add the plus the highway labor. Yeah. And you never want to get in a situation where they wrong. say, well, we're not alone because we're not paying for it. Yeah, show, show, us, right. show us your procedure. You won't. Know. Show us I your mean, procedure from the state. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right here. No. <laughs> All right. Are we good? I know the state would support whatever you yeah. did along okay. that line, so get the state on there, case. Okay. okay. I think we're oh motion to go into executive session to discuss union negotiations not during the meeting. Is there need to be a something in this moment? Is there need what? An need to break it up. Don't get anywhere with that one. No. My lap. <laughs> you can send it to me. To my side. I have to send to Jay Mark. Tara says yes. Yes. Yeah. Share the Oh, yeah, I had them. Someone just gave them to me. I don't know. I think TJ saw them. What am I going to a meeting with Vincent? Okay, 